Sometimes, despite a 20 year service life, equipment breaks and you'll need to replace an old terminal with a new one. It's easy. When identifying our hardware, we use the date code. The first two digits represent the calendar week. The second two, the calendar year. The next two digits are the software version, in this case, 01. And the hardware version are the last two digits, 00. We're going to replace this terminal with a newer version. In this case, this terminal was built in 2023. Software version 2, hardware version 1. First, we'll program in the old terminal. In this very simple project, with a target system as an EL6910, we have a single EL1918. This EL1918 is revision 16, which corresponds to software 01. I'm now going to replace this older card with a newer one, but we're not going to change anything in the software. Back on our physical hardware, we're going to imagine that this card failed. Let's turn it off. And we'll pull the card out. You can see the software version is 01. Now we're going to replace it with a software 02, hardware 01 version. Set the DIP switches on the new device so that its FSOE address is the same as the old one. The CX is fully booted up. We'll put it into run and we'll set our safety project to run. You can see that the safety project is in run and there's no errors. And we haven't changed anything in our hardware configuration. EtherCAT terminals, including TwinSafe, are designed to be backward compatible for easy maintenance.